This is episode 2155 of the Daily Meditation Podcast. I'm Mary Meckley and I welcome you as you get ready to give yourself permission to slow down so you can connect to that best part of who you are. That's the part that often is neglected or buried under layers of distraction, overwhelm, and there's a lot going on these days. So there's no doubt you may be feeling it a little more difficult to focus or to feel settled and at peace. What you're doing for yourself right now as you get ready to meditate may just be the most important thing you do for yourself all day long. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss an episode of your important meditation ritual and maybe share with a friend who might need a little extra support these days. In today's episode, you are going to be guided as you explore a brand new theme this week. Throughout this month, you have been journeying within. You started off with a journey within meditation series. And last week, you discovered how to feel more confident about yourself. This week, you explore confidence in regard to relationships. And this is important because right now during a pandemic, some of our relationships have faltered because we're not able to be with loved ones as frequently or as closely as we usually are. And also just living in tight quarters for many of us, that can create a lot of stress and tension, especially if you're working at home, all of a sudden your family members are also at home, maybe you're homeschooling. This can create a lot of challenges. So you'll be exploring ways to help you ease your relationship tension. Each day this week, you'll discover a different meditation technique that you can do, whether you're seated on your meditation cushion or at the end of your bed, on your bed, on your chair, wherever you meditate. You'll also be able to use these techniques as you go about your day. So right in the midst of what seems like chaos, a meditation technique you learn in this week's series may very likely relax you even instantly. Today's episode is sponsored by the Sip and Ohm Meditation app, where you are guided in 30-minute full guided meditations, taking your meditation ritual a little more deeply, and you can try this Sip and Ohm meditation app for an entire week free. You receive a journal with a daily reflection question on it, and you also receive a guide with all the techniques offered on it. So, Now, as you get ready to meditate, I want to thank you if you've left me a review and if you enjoy the podcast, I would be so grateful if you left me a review. And also, please reach out to me and let me know how meditation has helped you. I receive lots of messages where people, meditators just like you, your fellow meditators, share with me how meditation has helped them. So I want to begin sharing their journeys with you. It's nice to know we're not completely alone out there. It can feel isolating these days. So I want you to know just how many people are listening and meditating just like you are. So go ahead now and settle yourself down and get ready to meditate. And as you do, I want to share with you a beautiful message I received from your fellow meditator who calls herself Written in Hope. 
She says that she's recently started listening to the podcast to help her through meditating. And the reason why she chose meditation to help her is because she says, I've been struggling with social and generalized anxiety disorders for three years. I don't have much confidence in myself, nor do I love myself, and I worry about everything. However, I want that to change. I've been meditating as a means to calm myself down, to get in touch with myself spiritually, learn how to love myself, and be confident in myself. I know I deserve these things. I don't want anxiety to rule my life forever. Your podcast has really been helping me. It's been a while since I felt so peaceful. Thank you. So written in hope, I'm honored you reached out to me. And I know those listening are grateful that you shared your journey because I bet a lot of us feel the same way. And as you explore this week's confidence in relationships journey, you have a special challenge that I've created in honor of Written in Hope. This is a series where each day this week, you do something kind for yourself. You do something that honors who you are. Because one of the best ways to improve relationships with loved ones, casual relationships, with neighbors, with people you have yet to meet, is to feel good about yourself, to feel confident, to love yourself. So this week's challenge is to do one thing each day to honor and to be kind to yourself. So as you sit up straight and close your eyes and begin to notice where you hold tension in your body. See if on the next inhale, you can create space where you feel that tension or tightness. Visualize yourself surrounding this area within you with your breath nurturing it with your life's flow of oxygen. As you exhale, let go of your breath, let go of your tension. When your mind begins to wander as you meditate, You could do that breathing technique anytime, inhaling, noticing where you feel restless, visualizing your breath surrounding that area, supporting it, nurturing it. As you exhale, release tension. Now bring to mind what aspect of your life you'd like to focus on this week in regard to supporting yourself. Maybe your health needs a little attention, so you'll do some things that help improve your wellness. Maybe you've neglected your surroundings, your home, Maybe you're not cooking as much these days and so you're eating poorly. Maybe you simply need to rest more. Bring to mind what your focus will be this week as you help to improve how you feel about this part of your life. I'll share with you a quote by Mahatma Gandhi from India. He says, 
There is more to life than simply increasing its speed. Mentally bring to mind the ways you will slow down to take care of yourself this week. Continue to sit in stillness for however long you feel comfortable doing so. You are so worth slowing down for. <laughs>